Hello there, my name's Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And today I'm gonna to show you how to integrate security scanners into your CI-CD pipeline in under one minute. GitLab provides security scanners for your complete application lifecycle. This can be mixed with security policies to prevent insecure code from making it to production. Security scanners can be run within a pipeline or on a schedule to identify vulnerabilities between a feature branch and a target branch. GitLab provides security scanners to scan various aspects of your application, such as the source code, the running application itself, the infrastructure it builds, container images, dependencies, and introduces fuzzing as well. Here I have a project which houses a simple note-taking application. I wish to add security scanners to this application. Within my .gitlab CI YAML file, you can see that here I build, test, and deploy my application to a Kubernetes cluster with a pipeline that looks as follows. These stages run in a sequence, meaning every job from a stage must complete successfully before the next stage is initiated. All right, now let's add security scanners to our CI CD pipeline. In order to do this, we must edit the .gitlab CI YAML and add the appropriate templates. This can be done with our favorite IDE or by using the built-in GitLab web IDE or pipeline editor, which allows us to lint and visualize our pipeline. All right, now let's start the timer. All we need to do to add security scanners to our CI CD pipeline is import the templates from the GitLab documentation. And to do this, all I need to do is add include statements for the various templates. I'm also going to add container scanning. Then I'll go back and add DAST as well. And then I will implement the DAS stage to run after the application has been deployed. Then I go ahead and commit these changes to master. And there you have it. We have our security scanners added to our pipelines in under a minute. Now let's go ahead and look at the pipeline. Now you can see that after we build the application, we run several security scanners within our test stage. These are the static scanners, which analyze static source code, such as SAS, secret detection, and container scanning. Then we deploy the application, and once it's running, we run DAST in order to attack the live application. Once the pipeline completes, we can go to the Security tab in order to see all the vulnerabilities detected within our main branch. We can sort by the severity, as well as by the scanner type. When clicking on a vulnerability, we're presented with detailed information on the vulnerability, how it affects our system, the location, and identifiers, which will assist us in remediation. These functions will now be available when creating a merge request, and we'll compare the feature branch with the target branch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please click that like button and make sure to subscribe. And if you need any more information on GitLab security scanners, please see the links in the description. Thank you.